scared? <laughs> if not, you should be. Because I'm not sure everybody can come out this alive. So um, before everything, I have to give a little warning, a little caution. In the next 20 minutes, there will be words like this. Oh, no. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> Got too excited. So if you can't deal with it, too bad. Suck it up. Um, after that, I also have to give you a little warning. There's no scientific, pro scientific proof that my work caused seizure, but I have been told that I need to put this warning in there so people don't sue me if that actually happens. So um, before we get started with my actual presentation, I just wanna do a little warm up, do a little test so everybody can sort of get on the same page as me. And um, so, you know, this is manageable, yeah? Okay, everybody okay? If you're dying already, please exit the room right now because I do not need other, other people to draw attention away from me. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Are we doing good with this one so far? Yeah? Are you sure? Everybody? 100%? What about this one? <laughs> hello. That's how I usually talk. Um, so, here are some flaming kisses and moas. Uh, thank you so much for Tafel Graphics to have me here. It's honestly such an honor, and also I don't know why am I here to be super honest, so thank you for inviting me. Um, I just assume that you're just as confused as I am, so I am gonna tell you a little bit about myself, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of my work. So this is me taking a selfie. <laughs> and like the introduction earlier, I'm a designer, art director, illustrator, animator who wants to make every day a razzle dazzle musical. I know I'm giving a talk about animating typography and I know that these are Kino animations. This is not what I'm gonna be talking about. Don't worry. <laughs> I have I heard some gasps in the in the crowd. Um, so I was born and raised in China, and I moved here ten years ago and said, uh, went to school at SVA. Chinese is a very different. Thank you. Uh, Chinese is a very bizarre language. It's a language based off hieroglyphics. So it's there just a lot of emojis and then they combine them into new meaning. And English is not. English is fanatic and then the alphabet themselves doesn't really have that much particular meanings. And I don't know if you've noticed, my initials are Z, Zs. So, um, it makes my birthday invite very, very fun and interesting. And then this is the birthday invite where everything started. So I was turning 25. I want to make myself a awesome birthday invitation to all my friends because it's the day that I'm born. It's like, you know, you should celebrate it. Um, so I made myself this abstract Z. I was like, huh. This is kind of cool and kind of fun. I never thought of like, you know, because I actually really hate animation. I fucking hate it. Um, so it's so great to be here talking about animation. Um, <laughs> so I was like, well, this is not that terrible. I was like, that's pretty cool. So I started to do more. There's no sound. Sorry, guys. Uh, this one might be super loud. We don't know, so can't guarantee. Are we doing 
okay. <laughs> um, so that was my um, senior year project under the legendary Paula Scheer, and then that was the typography, uh, custom alphabet uh, inspired by electronic music. But I have terrible taste in music, so I, in all my work, I try to avoid have music in there, and that was my solution just to make, you know, buzz sounds and then just, you know, make it till, fake it till I make it. And um, the way that this talk is structured is we're gonna start with a lot of letters. So this is an M that I made for Makers Club. This is an S that I made when I was sick. <laughs> and then, like I said, I love my birthdays a lot. So this is a birthday present I made for myself. When I turned 26, I decided to create a set of alphabet that animate themselves into Z. Because since I'm the last one, you know, everybody before can, you know, join the gang. And it was, why is the E not moving? That's weird. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Sorry about that. Um, if there's more technical problems, it's 100% not my fault, but my shitty computer. Um, so. Apple, please sponsor soon. <laughs> and uh, when I was working on this project, I had so much fun because I have no parameters just to play with the form of typography. I can fuck with these letters as much as as well as as much as I want. Jesus, that's a difficult sentence to say. Um, and from that, I get to really, really enjoy why. Why isn't half of the things not animating? Sorry, let's try this one more time. All right, because I love that M, because that M is inspired by hot dog, just like <laughs> wiggles. And you know, like, I, I want them to have this bounce to it because you know, I'm a pretty bouncy person and um, that birthday was fucking awesome. And, um, you know, not only I celebrated myself 26 times, um, but also just, you know, did some cool shit. And then this one is something that I hope a lot of people can relate to, is when you wake up in the morning, you just have email nonstop coming in to you, and then it just doesn't seem to end at all, which is to me every single Monday morning. Um, and there is something wrong with the animation. I, okay, I'm, I really apologize. I don't know why it's not animating on its own. But anyways, got some S. And then we're from letters, move on to two digits. That's a 30. Sometimes when you're trying to um, show the motion, guys, I'm so sorry. This I'm sorry about that. Um, so sometimes when you're trying to animate typography, you don't ha actually have to animate the type itself and just let everything else animate. So it can create the sense of illusion. And this one is something that I made for my beloved and trippy city. 10 years later, I'm still here, but still just as confused. I'm sure you feel the same. And this one in particular, it's something I made for my mom. When I was working on this, I got a call from her. And she said, do you know today's Mother's Day? <laughs> you have no idea how angry I, I was. I was like, you ungrateful woman. Uh, just." <laughs> Just wait for five more minutes, and you're gonna love me so much more. <laughs> oh well, moms love her. Um, and then this is for the win. This is how I feel like. This is how I feel women should win. Wing. Okay, I'm not gonna try. Um, just what does worship mean? 
Um, and for the people that are kind of um, conservative and um, not very comfortable with, I, I shouldn't say nudity, but vulgar s scenarios, the next one I just want to warn you to brace yourself. Um, this is a pro project called TMI, and it's a uh, interview series <laughs> of people sharing their very, very deep, deep stories uh, within the LGBTQ community. And when I put the typography together when I was working on the logo, I was like, wow, there's one lucky bottom. And sometimes I flex. Sometimes I like Fridays. Like this is, Monday is my least favorite day in, in the world. I don't know who invented Monday. Like that person should really check themselves. And, but for Friday person, thank you. Like this is me like literally every Friday, just doing this. <laughs> that was actually a self-portrait basically what I'm trying to say. And um, I don't know if, have no if you have noticed that I'm a gay person. Um, so, you know, like, we like Lady Gaga a lot. So this is just a birthday gift I made for her. She didn't ask for it, but you know, she's getting it. And, um, and this is something I made for the uh, art book fair. So I don't really read almost at all. Um, but I feel like sometimes you, you need to just pretend that you do so people take you a little bit more seriously. And this is something I made uh, in 2016 that did not work. <laughs> or help the other side, you know, like, sorry. If it happens, it's all my fault a gay man from China. And then, you know, another one for Friday. I don't know if I've made it clear, I really like Fridays. Um, and um, I love, love, what the fuck is going on with this fucking keynote? All right. Sorry, I do not understand why it's not animating like the way it's supposed to be. But anyways, the one in the middle is what it's supposed to be and then it's gonna just keep radiating, very aggressive, rainbow love, in your face, nonstop, till eternity. All right, let's try one more time. Pride. I swear to God, if this one does not work, I will have a fit with my computer. Um, so what I, <clears throat> when I, every time I try to make a um, type post, the thought come to my head is like, what can I do to let the animation to say every single thing, and then the word is just there sort of supporting it. So here, I hope you can understand that I'm very loud and proud. And um, this is one that I made when I went to Dallas. The barbecue was amazing. And this one is how I feel during winter. It's not as razzle-dazzle, but more like orphan solo ba ballad. Um, you know, it's just like one spotlight and then, you know, like you have nothing, on, oh, sorry. Um, sorry, I got a little too carried away. Um, this is another one. Why is it not working? Okay. Another one that made for our beloved. Sorry, I have a uh, alarm set for 11.50 every day so I can, I will remember to warn myself to make an Instagram post and that was the alarm for that. Um, <laughs> because I have severe OCDs, like I have to post it at 12 p.m. like on the dot, otherwise I would just lose it. So I need to save myself 10 minutes to write a very cute and sweet but also considerate caption. Um, that's how long it takes me to write the captions, guys. So just 
So now you know a little bit more about me than I wanted to reveal. Uh, this is for Sri Lanka. And this is for, this is how I motivate myself in like Monday mornings. Okay, I think we're running a little bit low, so I'm gonna go really fast. So this is coming down and calming down. More is more. Love is love. Oh my God, come on. <laughs> Give me some love, okay? Uh, and then that's me running around in New York City. And, um, and this is eat and repeat, which is the story of my life. By the way, the uh, name Zhu, my last name Zhu, in Chinese um, sounds the same as the word pig. So like this is a very accurate depiction, but also made my childhood very sad. Um, I do not understand why none of these are playing and this is very frustrating. It was okay before. So these are some silent music lyric videos I made for Billie Eilish. So I, like I said, I'm not comfortable of using music in general. So I just want to create some animations that represents the sense of the music. This is my sentence to a lot of cute straight men out there. <laughs> Anyways, so those things are all the things I worked on my personal side, like, you know, the things that keeps me happy. And on the other side, like Mike mentioned earlier, we also have a studio. And this is my big D. Um, if you see an asshole in the D, it's 100% intentional. So don't worry, like, you see it, you see it. Um, like I said earlier, like every time I start a project, I want to start with the letter form. So the first assignment that we gave ourselves as a studio is play with our D in many ways. Every day, dazzling. Bang, bang, boom, boom, ha, pa, boom, uh, uh, uh. Oh, by the way, last one, my favorite. <laughs> Even though I'm a gay man, Boobs, oh my God. <laughs> like, I understand why straight men are straight because of boobs, but not enough for me. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you some of the um, professional projects that we've done under Dazzle Studio. <laughs> um, for example, we have made some trippy animation for Jet.com. We have made a Las Vegas inspired Command X6 logo identity for AIGA. And we have also created a logo for Viacom Next. Just sidetrack here. Do you know how many fucking Next logo is out there? And including the legendary Paul Rand one. So when I first got the project and I saw the name, I just took a deep breath and was like, how am I gonna do this? But you know, I think we did it. And this is a production company called Produce that they want to, they love puns. So like, you know, they want to play with the idea of like produce and produce. So to me, it doesn't matter if you're a producer or a farmer, you're just running around every day being shadows. Does that make sense, kind of? Well. Client bought it, so it doesn't matter. I don't care, I, I really don't care what you think. Like, I don't know why I made that sen like, sentence. Um, this one though, this one is when I think I am really smart. So this is the word double happiness in Chinese. And um, it usually is uh, symbolized marriage. And Airbnb magazine contacted me that they wanted me to do a custom lettering for Hong Kong. And guess what? <laughs> Tricked you, didn't I? 
And here's some more fabulous things. And um, one of the things I want to say is the reason we get to do fun and um, hilarious work is with the support with our awesome client. And out of all our client, I have to give the super best friend award to Mickletype, MCKL. And this is one project that we worked on for Adidas. Um, Adidas, uh, Mikkel helped Adidas create a new variable type family that goes in different infinity width and um, weights. So our task is to figure out a way to really, really showcase these beautiful types. So we decided to, is it moving? Okay. Guys, I'm like really stressed out by this animation situation. It's like, what is the point of showing animation if it doesn't move? So, like I said before, one thing when I worked on animation is I really want the way, the movement to do the explaining. So I don't have to be like, you know, this is a typography I made for Adidas, you know, like I want to make for like athleticism, like so they like, you know, move and stuff. Um, sorry, that's my like, dumb voice. And, um, so these are some more, and I'm, I'm going to show you my favorite. Less. And then the last one is my absolute favorite. It's Go OG. Anyways, so they loved it. Great. And then we got paid. That's awesome. Um, I have two more things to show you. Like I said before, I'm not great with music. So the first one, my first intern, Marvin, chose it for me just because I literally have a taste of five-year-old. Um, this is a animation that we've done for School of Visual Arts. Thank you. Um, I am gonna change the pace and the tone a little bit. It's gonna be a really harsh 180, just like a regular Asian dri driver. Um, so um, the next project has nothing to do with any of the other things I just shown you, but it's truly, honestly, one of the most difficult thing I've ever worked on as an animator. And like I said, I always start with a letter, and then here are 2,670-something letters animating together. Follow me, DM me, I'm single. 